Hello guys, welcome to Lovely Twin 22. Vanessa here speaking and today we have another Pika Stone reading and this is um, Will They Choose You? So this is good for singles who's asking about their crush and also for um, those who are asking if their person will choose them instead of the karmic or instead of somebody who's they're living with. But anyway, um, the angels say that they just want to give you this reading so that you will have a clarification if it is a worth a wait, if they will choose you someday. But if you receive a no for an answer, guys, we will also clarify if someday okay, you will be together because some instances, guys, they might choose someone else first but then in the end they will choose you that could be the case scenario now guys if you receive both no as an answer it doesn't mean that it's the end of the world it means that there's someone else out there that is meant for you and not the person that you're thinking about so by the way we have four pals here pal one is I mean, stone number one is Rhoda Knight, stone number two is Amethyst, stone number three is Desert Rose, stone number four is Amazonite. Um, choose wisely, guys, and remember that a love life is um, good if you are balanced person okay and remember not to cling too much on the outcome because outcomes can change okay so as energy and feelings and only take what resonates guys the angels told me that they only do this reading for you so that you'll be able to know if you will able to have a chance to be with your person so is there anything else angels the angels told me that you have to relax about your career also because as of the moment the career is not really good now why is it they talk about career you know because if we're affected in the love life itself it strikes our heart and some people that can't work properly if they have a problem with their love life Okay, that's why they want you to focus on your career, on yourself, um, instead of focusing too much in your love life, the angels say. So, what else? The angels told me that God is with you and He is gonna protect you from harm, from all forms of evil. Um, because right now, honestly speaking, um, the energy is not great. Um, the effect of the full moon is not that good for people. Everyone seems to be moody and also um, they're very depressed. Okay, so if that's the case scenario, guys, you need to keep it cool, alright? So, is there anything else? They said no more. So, guys, just post the video if you're not yet ready. I'll proceed now with stone number one. Hello, guys. For those who chose stone number one, which is Rhoda Knight Stone, here is your reading. Okay, so let's see if your person's gonna choose you. So, guys, if majority of the cards is upright, it means yes, they gonna choose you. But if majority of the cards is in reverse, then it means a no, they're not gonna choose you. So, let's see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we'll be able to see if the person of stone number one will choose them. Let's choose to be with them. So let's see. So you have the karmic trench. Oh, what else? So you got the architect and also archangel um, Raphael. So it's a yes since majority of the cards is in a pride. Now let's clarify the cards so we'll have more information. So 
angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that you'll be able to see what's behind the cards presented here please help us clarify so we'll be able to understand thank you so the karmic branch clarify you got the knight of swords i'm sorry um the architect clarify so you got the two of swords a ten of pentacles rivers archangel raphael you got the hangman all right guys so you have a car trunk karmic trench here um what i'm sensing here is that your person is a hard worker all right it takes a lot of time for them to persuade them to be in a connection but if you're gonna move things forward with this person like you're gonna hang out um eat lunch together or start over as a friends first then you will have a chance because um this person really wants somebody who is like their best friend and they will not choose you as their partner to be if you won't start off as friends or they prefer a colleague that that could be the case um i'm sensing uh, like uh, they are the type of person who's indecisive when it comes to relationships that's why you have to persuade them by being with them most of the time and uh, they really want friendship first before lovers and Archangel Raphael here. I'm sensing like this person have been broken before. That is why when it comes to relationship, they're kind of logical. And they are judging first or analyzing things before they move on to a relationship. Because they don't want their hearts to be broken again. It's hard for them to heal. That's what I'm sensing or they have been through a heartache and they i'm sensing like they already healed from it but then they are very cautious when it comes to love because of what happened in the past that's what's happened so is there anything else they said no more so congratulations okay stone number one it's a yes so Thank you for watching stone number one, the Rhoda Knight Stone. Sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hello, guys. For those who chose stone number two, which is the Amethyst Stone, here is your reading. Okay, so let's see. Will they choose you? So if you got majority of the cards is upright, then it means yes, they will choose you. But if it's majority of the cards is in reverse and it means a no they will not choose you so let's see angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that we will see if the person of stone number two will choose them as their lover as their love one more shuffle they request let's see okay will they choose you so you got first reverse um two of worlds reverse sense of time they said a no not the perfect timing yet but i'm sensing this one as well oh it's a bird's a nest so it's really a no guys okay so let's see why why is it no so angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that we'll be able to see what's behind the cards presented here so that we'll be able to understand thank you so first card in reverse you have the nine of pentacles page of wands reverse two of worlds nine of cups reverse sense of time oh there's your energy so you got the three of cups reverse and then the star 
um, the birds and nest reverse, you got the two of swords and then the eight of pentacles reversed. Um, the angels told me that this person have someone else already, okay? But the problem with that relationship is that um, the person is fulfilled when it comes to you. That's what I'm sensing. And they want to start a new beginning but it's not happening yet because they're still kind of connected with their karmic partner as of the moment. And then the two worlds here. Um, I'm sensing like this person wants to go out to have their wish fulfilled. Okay, and it's not happening with their karmic. So, the Six of Scrolls are waiting for a perfect time to let go of the karmic that they currently have so that they can move things forward with you. And then the next card is the Bird's Nest. So, um, I'm sensing like they're working on releasing the karmics, um, the karmic um, person in their life because they finally made a decision to choose you but why is it all the cards is in reverse i mean majority it means that currently now they have a relationship and right now they can't move things forward with you yet because they are connected with someone else that's what i'm sensing here but let us see if you guys will have a chance to be together okay since on the first one they choose the karmic so here is the round two will you have a chance to be with them so the angels told me it's quite the same okay if a majority of the cards is upright it means yes they will have a chance to be with you but if majority of the cards is in reverse then it means a no so they won't have a chance to be with you angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that we'll be able to know if those who chose pile number two will have a chance to be with their person that they have in mind will they have a chance someday I'm sensing like they have kids from the other karmic. So you have Divine Physician, Fated Meeting, and also um, the Lookout Reverse. Yes, guys, you will end up being together after that karmic. Um, the angels say that your person is just trying their best to heal from whatever it is. So angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that we'll be able to know what's behind the cards presented here please help us clarify so we'll be able to understand thank you another shuffle they request So, the Divine Physician, please clarify. So, you got the Page of Pentacles Reverse, the Fated Meeting, Queen of Cups Reverse, the Tower Reversed, the Lookout Reverse. So, you have the Magician, Five of Wands, King of Pentacles, and then Page of Cups, Page of Swords, and also Five of Swords Reverse okay so what i'm sensing here is that after that they let go of the karmic they will heal from it and they will finally choose you because the second card here is that you will meet each other again in the future and this time the angels say um this person will tell everything of what had happened in the past why you guys are in separation and i'm sensing like this person didn't tell you that they have someone else okay i'm sensing like they dated you before and they didn't say that they have someone else already okay and they will tell it to you all the secrets that they have 
Um, you will be shocked. Honestly speaking with the tower. Like, it feels like when they say those things to you, um, you will suddenly burst into tears. Like, um, you don't know about it. You're not aware. And you don't know if you're gonna love this person again or not because they lied to you. Because I'm sensing most of them dated you in the first place and you're not aware that they have a karmic. So the next card is the look out in reverse. So what we have here guys is that um, Sir Karmic I'm sensing like their karmic left them because of financial issues, they're not stable, there's no enough love, this person is kind of childish to handle things. They always fight about money, about career. It's very hard for your person, honestly. This is in reverse because it's already over. Like, the fire is out now and they're trying to manifest this new connection with you after the conflict, the fights that's happening in your life, after they balance their life. This is a childish person, I'm sensing. Like, they just leave the karmic for you because with their karmic there's a lot of problem there's a lot of fighting there's a lot of drama and this karmic is what do you call this is so clingy to this person and i'm sensing like um this person tries to get all the money that your person has I don't know, but I'm sensing like also your person is kind of childish, like, it's not really good. So basically, yes, they will be with you, but after they release their karmic, okay? So thank you for watching stone number two, oops, sorry, stone number two, which is the amethyst, and sending you all peace, love, and light, bye. Hello guys, for those who chose stone number 3 which is the desert rose, here is your reading. So let's see if your person will choose you. So if majority of the cards is upright then it means yes, they will choose you. But if majority of the cards is in reverse then it means a no, they will not choose you. So let's see. Angels and guides, please provide guidance. Oops, strong feelings for the cards so that you'll be able to see if the person of stone number three will choose them. Okay, so let's see. You have two worlds. I'm sensing this card, Archangel Michael, reverse, and then on track. So it is a no. They will not choose you, but let's see why. So, angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you'll be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. And please help us clarify so we'll be able to understand. Thank you. The angels told me that you don't have to worry about this because it's in divine timing. So, two worlds clarify. You got the uh, Six of Wands reverse, Archangel Michael. You have the Four of Wands. Um, they say that this is in reverse. So on track, reverse, clarify. You got the Eight of Cups reverse, and then 
Hmm, the two of cups upright and then the knight of cups reverse. So why? It is because your person is not yet ready to commit. Okay, because they're not yet victorious with their life right now is what I'm sensing here. And currently your person um, is unstable at the moment. And what I'm sensing here is that yes, they choose someone else but um, there's no enough attraction between them. They're not a good match. Someday it will fall down, the angels say. <clears throat> so, the next card is on Trapped. The angels told me that your person did this. They chose someone else. Um, because they think that um, this person is meant for them. In the first place. That's what I'm sensing here. Because I'm sensing like they left you for someone else. So, it's a no. They will not choose you. But they will check if there will be a chance that you guys will be together. So, let's see if you will have a chance to be with this person. So, angels and guides, same procedure, okay? If majority of the cards is upright, then it means a yes. There will be a chance for you guys to be together. But if majority of the cards is in reverse, then it means a no. So, angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we'll be able to know if those who chose stone number three will have a chance to be with their person someday. One more shuffle, they request. <laughs> so, you have reflection. And then community. And then the architect. I'm sensing this. Commitment. So it's a maybe. Should I need to accept it? So let's pull more. So diversity. It's a no. But let's see why. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we'll be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we'll be able to understand. Thank you. So, reflection in reverse. You have the Seven of Cups, um, community... You have the Ten of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, the Architect, you have the Six of Cups, um, Six of Swords, Eight of Wands, Reverse, Commitment. You got the Five of Cups, and then Diversity, Reverse, Ten of Swords, and then the Six of Wands. So what we have here is Reflection, like... I'm sensing like your person has a lot of options, a lot of things that they have on their plate right now. And they don't know really what to do. So community. I'm sensing like their relationship has ended with their karmic um, in the future. Because of the instability unstable relationship that they have and they can't get along community is in reverse and they will be alone um one of keys i'm sensing like they will find someone else better than you are that's what i'm sensing because i'm sensing it's not you um I'm sensing like um, they will have a family with this um, new person that they have. 
um, I'm sensing like they will not communicate it to you. They will not tell you what they're up to. And then commitment. So what will happen is uh, that um, commitment, I think that something happened with this relationship that they had with the next one. Um, they will be committed, yes, but they will end up breaking up. That's what happened. Okay? And this is your cups. You and this person. So what happened is that they realize that their choices that they have um, didn't give them the victory that they wanted. It broke their heart. So this is a sad story. Like they chose someone who is not really meant for them. And they're not that victorious in the end. That's what I'm sensing. So they will have someone else but then they are not that victorious in their love life. Okay, so I know it's a sad love story but I think you deserve someone else better. Okay, so thank you for watching Stone Number 3. Sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hello guys, for those who chose Stone Number 4, which is the Amazonite, here is your reading. Okay, so let's see. Will they choose you? Stone Number 4. So if majority of the cars is in a bright position then it means yes they will choose you but if majority of the cards is in reverse then it means no they will not choose you so let's see so angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that we'll be able to know if those who chose stone number four will choose them one more shuffle they request oops i'm sensing like your person is kind of stubborn i'm finding it hard to shuffle my cards they haven't made a decision yet the angels say you have the loving elementals reverse um the Queen of Forces, the chess game, and then caught in the ruins, they said it's upright. So, I'm following the angels, alright? So, pull another. Fated meeting. Reverse or upright? They said it's reverse or upright. So, again, I'm confused. One more. So, you have a yes. He, okay. Since you have three uprights here. The angels told me that you have to relax a bit. This person may take some time alone. Okay, you don't have to bug them. But let's clarify the cards presented here. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards. So that we'll be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we'll be able to understand. Thank you. So you have the three of roses in reverse. So you have the seven of cups reverse and then five of pentacles reverse, queen of wands and then queen of forces reverse you have the emperor and then the ten of swords reverse three of keys three of swords four of swords reverse and then the three of cups caught in the ruins five of cups reverse knight of pentacles fated meeting strength card and then oriel and the sphinx you have the ten of wands they said 10 of wands is in reverse, so let's take it reverse. And then Ace of Pentacles upright, they told me. So, let's see. Loving Elementals. I'm sensing like in the past, your person seeking love, 
because they have been broken in the past, somebody left them out of the cold. And they're finding it hard to open up their heart. They're guarding their heart because of whatever had happened in the past. That's what they are. They are seeking love. That somebody may love them and may not leave them behind. They're badly hurt in the past, the angels say. So you have the Queen of Forces. I'm sensing like your person because of whatever had happened in the past. Um, they are guarding their heart. They are guarding themselves like they putting up a mask. They are a tough guy or a girl. But deep inside of them, they are hurt. And sooner or later, they will realize that they have to remove all the swords and that's connected to the past. Okay, they will open up their heart again when the time comes. And then the chess game is here. Like they try to love some people. I'm sensing like they become player types after this um, breakup that they have. Okay, and then what happened is that... Um, after contemplating, they realize that they must not be like this forever. They realize that what they did in their life is not good. They keep on breaking hearts of other people involved and even themselves. They, they are hurting their health because you know what will happen if you deal with a lot of person in your life. And then people in your life, okay? And then Scott in the ruins. So what happened is that um, when they met you in their life, they realize that after this heartache, this past heartache that they had, they have a chance to love again. Like, um, I'm sensing like you're a type of person who taught them self-love, self-first, and you are loyal to them no matter what they are. No matter what they tell you, I am a bad person, etc. You accepted them for what they are. And now they're moving on to you. They're so obsessive over you because you change them. That's what I'm sensing. You change them by being there always for them. I'm sensing like this is more on a friendship that turns into a lover. That's what I'm sensing. No fated meeting is here. I'm sensing like your person seems to change them. They are um, trying their best to... Heal their past hurts and pain. That's what's going to happen. And if they haven't come forward towards you yet, then it means that they're still trying to find that strength within. That they're trying to change these things of whatever had happened in their past. They're starting to believe in you that you will stay with them forever and that you will not break their heart. Okay, they're trying to heal from their trauma of the past. That somebody will let them go. But you have the strength card in upright. So it means that they trusted you already. That you will stay with them forever. No matter what they are. You will just, you will choose them. So as long as you stay upright. You can turn the fated meeting upright. Okay. You will make this person admit their feelings for you. If you just stay in love with them. And then the next card is Royal and the Sphinx. So what happened is that um, this person will finally let go of um, the past. That's what I'm sensing here. And start a new beginning with you. That's why they will choose you. Um, stone number four because you change them. Okay, to start a new beginning. So that's it. So is there anything else, angels? You said no more. So, it's a yes, guys. Um, congratulations. Stone number four. The Amazonite Stone. So, thank you for watching and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye.